Now, some things that happened over the weekend I think were consequential, including Anthony Davis, who held nothing back during his All-Star Media Day. He sat there and answered question after question about his pending free agency and his future with the Pelicans. Here's a little of it. Whatever list that came out um, that's between you know, my agent and the Pelicans, um, uh, it's true. So, I mean, I'm just keeping it real, to be honest. I mean, um, I knew that's all you guys wanted to talk about, so, you know. You know, I'll just, you know, stay in how I feel, you know, uh, stay in my intentions and, you know, go on from there. Yeah, and again, there were parts of it where he was confirming some teams sure. were on the list and confirming others weren't on the list. So he clearly took the strategy here. I'm going to talk about this endlessly, whereas most of the pending free agents tend to try and shut that down. What did you think of the strategy? I appreciated it. He's like, I know what time it is. I know what everybody's here for. Um, and let's talk about it and be honest. He said, yeah, the Celtics are on my list. I don't know why they were on the list before. Let's have a conversation about it. And if you're in the situation, if you're making a, a major league pull, like obviously he made a decision with his agent that he wanted to be uh, traded, and, and that's going to be a storyline. He was willing to talk about it, and I appreciate that. Well, the thing that can't get buried is that he basically let it be known that if he get traded to a team that he doesn't like, he's going to be a one-year rental. And ultimately, when he becomes a free agent, he's going to pick his destination. And that destination is Los Angeles. So any speculation is contrary to that point. At, 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 at he's dunk. talking about the Knicks being on his list. He's talking about Milwaukee being on his list. I guess just the very notion that a player who is on a current NBA team and in theory is playing for that team right now, and we'll see if they wind up shutting him down or not, is just actively talking about different places he might want to go play. At. It's something I've never seen before, not this kind of openly. Like I said before, I, I don't think teams are running the league anymore. Players are running the league individually. And we were all sitting there watching the game against uh, when the Pelicans were playing OKC on Friday night. And literally, I mean, AD just walked up the court. He had a contusion. You saw him and Rich walk up the court. That's what it's going to be. I mean, if you're going to force him to play, he doesn't want to play. He's not going to do that. He's going to start talking about things he wants to talk about. And I will say this, too. If you are going to be that player-led league that's going to be making power moves and making decisions, then don't you think that the expectation should be that you have to have conversations about it? You know what I mean? If you're going to yes. be the one stepping out and deciding this is what my career is going to look like, this is my plan, then you should be able to vocalize that, and he was able to do but that. But here's the problem. The trade deadline has passed. Right, yeah. So nothing can take place. Right. He's not a free agent this summer. Right. He doesn't control his destiny. They just fired their current GM and brought in an interim GM. So this is actually going to get a lot messier mm -hmm. before it gets better. I agree with you. And so that, 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 that's the way he's handling it. Kevin Durant, in the meantime, could not have possibly handled it more differently. He wanted nothing to do with questions regarding free agency during his media session. Here's what he said. I play basketball for the Warriors, and my main concern is to be the best play, uh, basketball player I can be every day. I have no concern about what free agents, I mean, uh, trade moves or transactions throughout the season with other teams. That does not concern me at all. It has nothing to do with me. Uh, I'm glad Porzingis is in a better spot, you know, for him in Dallas, and I'm looking forward to seeing him and Luca playing together for years to come. Mm. This is how quickly, though, the media cycle has changed. A week ago, everybody was berating Kevin Durant because we were saying, he was saying, grow up, right? And then he says the right thing, and then all of a sudden, people forget about last week. Which, so my thing is, I think it's okay for players to say what's on their mind. I think the way KD handled it, obviously it's different than the way he handled it last week. It diffuses the, situ the situation, but also Anthony Davis is trying to make it known that he does not want to be there. And he, that's the way the game is being played. Maybe he has made it. He has made that eminently known. And, and they took, again, a tack here that we've never seen. You're going to hear Adam Silver on this a little bit later. But let's get back to the point that Jalen was making just a moment ago, because I think it can't be made strongly enough, beyond the fact that Kevin Durant just said that a situation is better for Porzingis than New York would be. <laughs> so anyone who's hoping yeah, that Katie's coming to New York you want. love the way that <laughs> sounded. But having said that, you just made the right point. He's talking. Anthony Davis is talking openly about places he wants to go. I'll play here. I won't play there. He is on a current team <laughs> and cannot be moved now until at soonest July 1st. We are in uncharted waters here. Sure. This has never happened before. So he, he, here's the fork in the road between these two players. Kevin Durant, unlike AD, got what he wanted when he left OKC. He got a chance to join a championship team. They won it back-to-back -back years, and he got a chance to win finals MVP. So it doesn't benefit him to be talking about other situations when he got two other teammates that's actually in the game. How many Anthony Davis teammates was 
an all-star. Well, that's the problem. None. Right. <laughs> so that's the difference in their situation. Clearly.